the dogs. I'll just play it for you. The dogs are trying to catch the 3D scanned roses and if they catch them they'll be destroyed. And one interesting eccentric feature of this is that you can spam the dogs to make them into a monster. Another thing that I need to show you is we have an audio reactive rose in the background. So those are the features that I'm going to be discussing. Um, just in case you didn't hear me, I said that there, there are um, dogs that get destroyed by the falling 3D scans of roses and in the background we have an audio reactive um, we have an audio reactive rose that responds to the music. So in order to make the dogs come out of the of the Venus, we use a player controller. In this player controller, it instantiates the game object, which is the dog, and it um, says which which key you press, and then it says the direction that they're going, and also transform dot position. I think that means they're moving, and um, and then we have the spawn manager, which controls controls the roses raining down from the sky. And Spawn Manager X um, talks about sort of the breadth from where the balls are appearing or the roses are appearing and um, the interval between uh, how the roses fall and um, I mean how long it is that between the falling of each rose and um, they used to be multicolored balls I think and I replaced them all with 3D scans of roses and um, I also <laughs> I also removed the um, the limitation whereby you couldn't spam the spacebar because I thought it looked cooler to make the dogs into a monster. And then I um, what else? What are the cool things that I get up to in this project? Oh yes, the destroy out of bounds. Um, this um, this is to make sure the scene doesn't get too heavy. Of course, um, we have a limit, a left limit. And if the dog goes past that left limit, then it's destroyed. And um, oh, and also for the balls, the roses, when they go past the bottom limit, they get destroyed too. Well, that's neat. The destroyer of balance controls both the dogs and the roses. And then move forward. Now, I, I'm guessing that this is on the dogs. But I looked at the code and it didn't seem to be there, but it's quite a simple script. The dogs are moving forward and they have that time dot forward in the other in the other thing, so see sorry, transform dot position. That means go forward, right? We have to talk about the most sophisticated piece of scripting in this project, which is the rose, the mouth rose, and the the I was doing audio reactivity tutorials in tandem with my game developer tutorials, my junior programmer tutorials, and I um this this particular script analyzes the wavelength of the music that I played to you. That is the song Too Good by Wad, and it um it controls the instantiation of the object, in this case a rose, and how the rose moves when it responds to the music. In this case um, it's, it lengthens in response to the music, it controls how much it lengthens, and it controls, um, well in this case like multiple roses just like appear stacked on top of each other. So. It controls that as well. I look forward to going into more detail uh, with you about the more complex audio reactivity scripting that I've done and also the more complex video game scripting that I've done. But I hope you've enjoyed this short explanation and insight into the scripting going on in this particular project of mine. Thank you very much and I look forward to sharing more with you.